At the worst, if we can't reach any agreement with this administration. We were in a stronger position in the sense that we had won an election decisively. We had the House and the Senate. We'd won on a platform that specifically included balancing the budget. In November 1995, then Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich led an effort that resulted in a shutdown of the federal government. Now, congressional Republicans, once again battling a Democratic president over budget and other issues, seem ready to do the same. But how do these two episodes compare? In so many ways, 1995, 1996 are not really a guide for now. Because you had a united Republican front, at least, at least in the beginning, because you had a different kind of um, leadership both in the House and the Senate, because you didn't have back then a figure like Ted Cruz, who sort of made this his raison d'etre, his personal um, journey, if you will, on the Senate floor without the support of most of his party. It's really so different. I'm not sure you can take a lot of lessons from it. We've seen the impacts of Obamacare. We've seen what it's doing. The other fundamental difference was that at the time of 95, Newt Gingrich was this dynamic new speaker. And at the same time, that President Clinton's popularity was plummeting. The House Republicans were really on the rise. It was a united political front on the Hill. This is very different. John Boehner, who was in leadership uh, in 95 as well and is now the House Speaker, doesn't want to have a government shutdown. He knows how terrible that will be for his party. I've made it clear now for months and months and months, we have no interest in seeing a government shutdown. Uh, but we've got to address uh, the spending problems that we have in, in this town. I would have to say that John Boehner has handled the run-up to this better than I did. Uh, I was too willing to close the government. In fact, the 1996 shutdown was politically disastrous for Republicans. Two years later, Newt Gingrich was out of Congress while President Clinton's numbers had rebounded. What they did was hand President Clinton a gift because he really went out and he hammered away on them during this entire process and ultimately won that battle. And they sort of turned their own fortunes and paved the path for his reelection and really helped to destroy the chances of Bob Dole becoming president. But I think it is really interesting and important to note some of the newly elected Republican senators who've kind of come through the Tea Party movement. They have a different view of the traditions of the Senate, the notions of seniority in the Senate, and this is very different, and this means that a lot of these senators are really willing to blow things up in a way that history basically has not seen. We will continue to take every opportunity made available to us to fight on behalf of the American people, to fight on behalf of hardworking men and women in this country. We are living in an absurd Alice in Wonderland, Republican Tea Party world here. At the time, especially the 21-day shutdown, Congress had passed a fair number of large appropriations bills. At this point, there are no appropriations bills passed. So if we do go into government shutdown, I would suspect it would be far more impactful and more dire and certainly affect far more federal employees.